In this video, we are taking a Ranger pump in the standard W rotation and showing you how to change it from the high drive to the low drive and to reverse the relief valve or bypass. First, on the bypass relief valve side, you will remove those 10 bolts using a 9 16 inch wrench or socket. Two of those bolts, only a wrench can fit. So now removing the relief valve, you will take the dowel pins out of the end plate and put them back into the center housing and remove the old gasket. You will need to replace these. He's now taking out the idler gear with the idler shaft, that's the right hand gear. And he's removing the top left hand drive gear. He's now gonna move around to the other side and remove those 10 bolts as well. Now removing the drive plate, we'll remove the old gasket. He will put the dowel pins back in place. At this point in time, some configurations will require you to turn around the center housing. At this point in time would be when you would do that. He's installing a new gasket. You will now take on both sides, new gaskets are installed. He will now take the drive plate and show you original, it was at high drive. He's now flipping it 180 degrees. This means that the shaft is now at the bottom towards the feet and he will put the drive plate back on. He will now install the bolts. These are torqued anywhere from 18 to 20 pounds. He will now take the drive left hand gear and put it on the drive shaft. He will now install the right hand gear with the Adler shaft on top. At this point, if your configuration calls that you need to reverse the bypass, this is the original position. You will flip it 180 degrees and put it back on the center housing. You will now put the 10 bolts back in and torque them down to 18 to 20 pounds of pressure. pump is now in the low drive and the bypass has been reversed. This concludes our video.